crown. What are the vests? Yes. The jewel in the crown. Well, obviously, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a large, I mean, it's, uh, it's, it's worth, um, in our rupees, about, it's worth about 4.5 4 billion rupees. You multiply about, by three for, to get a Kenyan shilling. So it's, uh, let's say, around about 13, 13.5 uh, billion shillings. And, and usually, an investment of this size um, you know, needs, needs proper planning. And um, I can say that I have started discussions with, uh, with senior management in Kenya to, to basically discuss options. We, there's no decision which, are, which has been taken yet. So, so these options need to be, to be investigated. And I'm sure that um, with, um, with the help of management, we will, be, we will be able to find the right solution. So that value actually flows to, to policyholders in BAI Mauritius. No, I, I, I didn't say I, I would wait. I didn't say I would wait to get dividends. What I'm saying is that given such a large investment, you don't go out and do a fire sale to the first guy who turns up. So there are, there are matters to be, to be, to be uh, investigated. We have to make sure that uh, um, um, serious bidders come, come to the table. There must be a, a proper bidding process. Um, that, that process, I certainly would like to do that in the full transparency of policyholders and of management in Kenya. I don't, I don't want to do anything behind, behind the board of directors of Britam and behind management's back. So, so I think that there must be the right level of communication with the board in Kenya and with, uh, with uh, policyholders here. So, so it's going to be, to be a, a proper bidding process. You will know that Britam is a public company. So there's a whole issue around um, access to information for bidders. So I mean, it's, it's, it has to be planned. It has to be, to be done right. And um, that's why I'm saying that we will do it right. We, there's no rush. But having said that, I don't think it's a strategy to keep uh, Britam's investment for, uh, for a very long time. That was that uh, thing. Uh, that, that's a very good point. So it was see another dimension that um, that the timing. And I understand the share price is down a little bit following all the uh, all the uh, BI issues in Mauritius. I understand the share price is down a little bit. So clearly, clearly uh, there would be no rush given given the the recent dip in the share price. We hope that it is temporary and that uh, when people will realize that in fact BI Mauritius has got nothing to do with with Britam that confidence will come back and that, that the share price will, will start heading north. And then, and then the person that we bring to will, will hopefully bring, bring value to Britam going forward. So there, there are a number of considerations, which is why um, we shouldn't rush into, into, that, um, into that process. But you're right, policyholders want money, want their cash, they want their investment back. So that means that um, we have to monetize the, the investments in the, in the right way, and as early as possible. Okay, I mean, uh, there, there, there's no easy, um, um, easy guilty party, yeah? In my view, it was, it was a mixture of, of, of certain things. Um, the, main, the main problem, in my view, was the underperformance of the subsidiaries. BI invested or started investing into, let's say, non-traditional products for, for an insurance company, for a life assurance company. Life assurance companies, by, by definition or by habit or by tradition, they are very, um, very safe animals, investing money in government bonds, investing money in property, investing money in housing bonds. Even the stock market is perceived as being high risk for, for these companies. So, so from an investment point of view, BAI, I think, was a little bit, uh, well, had, had, a, had a different um, approach, and they were investing in their own subsidiaries. And then those subsidiaries, in my view, were not performing. They were, they were, they were well, they were losing money from the hospital to Framac and to a number of smaller businesses. So when, when you have invested policyholders' money into, into um, commercial companies, high street traders, hospitals, and, um, and car dealerships, 
just to name those. Then, if those investments are not performing, then, then this is where the trouble starts. So in terms of, of where was the problem of BAI, in my view, it's essentially in those subsidiaries that were not profitable and that, in fact, were losing money, requiring, requiring additional funding from BAI on a, let's say, on a regular basis. And of course, some of the products, some of the products they were selling were probably at, at too high a rate. And, and, and that also most certainly caused, uh, caused, caused a problem in terms of obviously the higher the rate, the higher the commitment, and the higher the commitment, the more assets you, you require to, to, to deliver on that promise, to deliver on that commitment. So when we look at the commitment at the, at the, uh, at the end of December 2014, that was a mixture of, I think, let's say more reasonably priced products with some products that, that, were, that were offering uh, returns that BEI just, just couldn't deliver. So, so yeah, I mean, there, 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 were, there, are, there were several reasons behind, behind the problems of BEI. But the main one, in my view, was about the non-performance of its investments. <laughs>